We slept together. Did you use protection? N no, we did not have sex. We just slept together, held each other. I was upset and Leah comforted me. Lying in bed with her, it felt different than it does with Carly. Well, maybe that's why you invited Leah instead of Carly in the first place? Hmm. Leah and I are just friends. Yeah, she's made that very clear. Sometimes you learn more about someone by what they do than what they say. Of course, who the hell knows what she wants, but more importantly, what do you want? I don't know. Well, you better figure it out soon. Sex or no sex, the wheels are in motion and someone's about to get run over. They had Malamars. Let's roll. What am I doing wrong? I never know where I stand with you. One minute we're sharing deep personal fears with each other and the next you're running away because you can't stand to touch me. Be honest, is there anything going on with Leah that you're not telling me? Say something, Sean. It's different. I like you, Carly. When I'm around you, I want to be impressive to you. I don't feel like I have to impress Leah like I do you. You're right. I have to tell you everything. I got very upset in Wyoming. Leah came in to comfort me and we hugged and laid down on the bed and we fell asleep hugging. That's everything that happened. We struggled with lying together for weeks and you did it in one night with Leah? Yes, but sh she's a close friend and she wanted to be there for me. Please, just stop talking. <sighs> Sean, I, I just, I need some space. I can't be around you right now. Sean? I wanted to be honest. Carly said she wanted me to talk to her. Leah said not to tell what happened. Leah was right. Uh, take a breath, sit down. I can't, I have surgery in a few minutes and I can't focus and, and I feel sick and is everyone going to leave me? What? What are you talking about? My dad didn't want me. My mom chose him over me. Carly now hates me. Sean, Leah will Sean, get tired of me. Sean, You'll get sick of me. I do everything what? wrong. Sean, Everyone will Sean, go get me away. For a hey, I hey, make people Sean. Upset. Oh my God. I make them Sean. hate me. I make them hate Sean, me. look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Right here. Right here. Look at me here. Don't ever say that about yourself. Don't ever say that. You hear me? You're going to get through this. You're going to go to surgery and you're going to get this done. How? How? Because you're an extraordinary doctor. That's how. And that's what you do. That's what you do. Hey, oh. hey, 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 hey. I could not be more proud of you. You hear that? And I could never get sick of you? <laughs> oh. <sighs> You're not getting rid of me, pal, okay? Right here.
This lens are filled with fluid. I need a chest x-ray and a bedside ultrasound. And page Dr. Resnick. Now I'm identifying the seven millimeter lymphatic vessels. I need 11 -0 micro suture and a 70 micron needle. Instead of harvesting nodes to this area, could we redirect lymphatics away from his lymph system? We could. If you identify an appropriate vessel, you can make the connection. We're clearly not dealing with an infection. There must be a blockage somewhere in his lymph system, most likely cancer. His CBC didn't show any abnormal cells. Lymphoma doesn't always show up. We need to run cytology on his lymphatic fluid. He's tachycardic. We were talking and then he just stopped. So we need to do a pericardial tap. Call the cath lab, tell them we're coming. No time, we're doing it here. James, the pain in your chest is from too much fluid around your heart. We're gonna put a tube into your chest to drain it. Call Sean and Carly, tell them we're running out of time. We're down to five potential options. I don't need five potential. I need one actual. There are two that best curb. Choose one. We should try rafamatinib. It caused abnormal cell growth. Dramatinib is safer, which doesn't mean it's safe. Well, nothing's safe. Which do you want us to do? <sighs> Dramatinib. That's the one. You're crying. Yes. Why? I found James on Facebook. He and Marjorie want to go to Costa Rica. Their dog is a three-legged rescue named Tripod. He's not a slide, he's a person. He is a good person and he might die. This is why I like to stay in the lab. That is a very dumb thing to say. If you had stayed in the lab, James would probably be dead already. Your plan with the zebrafish gave him a chance. It was a beautiful, perfect idea from a beautiful, almost perfect person. Your earlobes are lopsided. <laughs> 